Welcome to Orange. It's a beautiful day. It's raining in Newcastle, so I'm happy to be here. The sun is shining. We are we're in again the <laughs> at Park Run. Um, and we're ticking off the O, but I think there's going to be some pretty cool things to do in Orange, so we'll bring you along with us. There's lots of like farms and foodie kind of stuff, so that's exciting. So I'm going to go do Park Run and then we'll check back in. I'll let you know how I go. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. Oh, I will say, I'm over running hills now. The last three that I've done have been hills, so back to flat out and back at Newey next week I think I will enjoy that but it was a beautiful area we're yeah, in like really Gosling nice. Creek Reserve or something it's a really nice they've got lots of paths in there um, I was running on kind of some gravel some path um, some uphill whatever um, but it was a really nice park run not super super busy um, and I really enjoyed it Showered and de park run. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a lovely cup of tea. Now we're ready to hit the town. We're going to go and find some breakfast. We've found a bakery, so we're going to go and check that out. And then we're going to hit the tourist information to see what we should be doing while we're here. Alright, so we left the bakery because it was quite small and there wasn't really a lot of places to sit but we found this really yeah. nice park. Cook it's, Park it's called. It's really close to where we are staying and where the bakery was. Um, so we just jumped in the car and parked up here. So I ordered... I sent Dan in alone. Un, un, with no instructions. Except the coffee. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Reuben sandwich, they've toasted it properly which is always a risk what's always a risk that they don't toast it well oh okay and then like they had well this toasted? prosciutto and cheese croissant so it's kind of like a ham and cheese croissant so that's what we got that was so good that was really <laughs> yummy the, so we're the feel... reuben was uh, yeah the one reuben, of the best ones i've eaten really in a really, nice. really really long time it had really nice sauerkraut mm. on it really nice pickles winner yeah so this park we the weather just glorious here i today. think it's raining at home as well so that makes we, it feel even sweeter <laughs> but we've just decided we're going to head over to the information center and try and see if there's like a map you can pick up for like farm, farm gates. gates and that type of thing mm -hmm. there's a lot of wineries here which we don't really not drink wine so we're not i mean they're nice to visit and they usually have other cool things there so we'll see what we can find but that's what we're going to do today and hopefully visit some places around i googled orange farm gates and i got actual farm gates like <laughs> were they orange no they <laughs> the orange in color <laughs> um so and then tomorrow we want to go to millthorpe which is a historic town also seems like there's kind of farms and stuff around there we're on the hunt for some stone fruit, stone fruit. Some cherries hopefully <laughs> we might be missing cherry season by a few days but we'll see it's really nice here and the houses there's so many beautiful oh yeah historic like what would you call them federation yeah. sort of style houses that have been done, done up, up and i was like to Dan, let's move to orange <laughs> like i was thinking it would be cheaper than newcastle not the case we just looked at a beautiful house but it was three, three bedroom bed. two bathroom 1.5 so, mil <laughs> not that nothing crazy like it was absolutely beautiful but 1.5 million what are people doing here what are, where do they work anyway it's a beautiful spot so we've been to the visitor center we have a bunch of brochures and pamphlets and whatnot but we are going to head out towards a fig farm and a few other farms and wineries on the something trail that starts with B that I'm not going to attempt to say. Well, we all 
always do this and we um <laughs> we're such horses we're, yeah we're chickens um so the fig place just seems to be someone's random house um <laughs> and there's nobody else there we've driven up the driveway and we turn around and leave because <laughs> we're too chicken to go in to someone's random house. There also wasn't obvious. No, right? there wasn't. There was figs or anything. No. Nah. <laughs> just a sign. There's figs, and then that was it. <laughs> but it was a nice little country drive, I will say. interesting road trip continues we had a recommendation from a few people to come to the agrestic grocer which is like a cafe but also like a really cool kind of gourmet grocery store thing not open it's closed for like their christmas break until the 15th of january so unfortunately we're not going there <laughs> now we're just trying to find somewhere to visit Erica oh, just found somewhere that she wanted it was to go. It's called the Orange Street Grocer. And I thought that's what someone mm -hmm. had said in the email. Like, because we'd asked in our email for recommendations <laughs> and a few people had responded. And I was like, wow, this looks amazing. And they do like a brunch. Let's see if we can book. And I tried to, I pressed the like call option on the website. And it said like, your carrier does not support calls to this. I was like, oh, it must be set up wrong. And then I like, look on the map. It's in Barbados. <laughs> well, <please. laughs> this day, I think it is time to go home. Back to our hotel. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God, that is hilarious. I was booking us in. <laughs> we forgot to mention earlier that we arrived at 10 o'clock last night. And I'll show you, we'll show you where we're staying. So after a long drive from Newcastle. How long did it take? Five. Five hours. We left after work. Five hours we have arrived at Orange. It's quarter to ten so we made very good time and we are staying at the Darussi or Darussi Boutique Hotel. I'm not sure how you spell it, say it, but our room is really cute. I will show you. First of all, I was like, oh, do we have any sort of kettle or anything? Watch this space. <laughs> All right. It's like one of those hidden laundries, but it's a hidden <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> We've right. got everything you could possibly need and a little brekkie bag, mini bar, and everything. I'm very, it was very surprised. Tea and coffee making facilities, definitely. We've got a little table and chairs here in our kitchen, I guess. <laughs> nice big bed. Massive bed. Massive Luckily, bed. Luckily, the air conditioning is on. But it's, it's on warm because it is 13 degrees outside. Yes, we're in the middle of summer. I don't know why it's 13 degrees, but the, it's beautiful and warm in here, thank goodness, because I nearly died when I got out of the car in this little dress. <laughs> um, nice big TV. Wardrobe here. We, not always, we try and book somewhere with a bath if we can because we don't have a bath in our house and i think we've hit the jack i like a separate here. bath and shower too because the shower's yeah. there so a nice looking shower here but a spa and bath a nice big spa bath here i think we're going to be very comfortable here but we better unpack and get ready for bed because dad's got park run tomorrow and we've just been back here this afternoon having a bath and i was going to show you this this is our little travel Epsom salt <laughs> pack. So th these are just from Woolworths, but we really like them. They're magnesium bath salts with essential oils. So there's different kind of flavors. I don't know <laughs> what you call it. Scents, blends, but we have these to travel with us. When we know we've got a bath, we are going to make the most of it. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. We were quite bad 
vloggers last night we forgot to tell you about um, our evening but I'll get Dan to fill you in on that because it was her my choice <laughs> I was looking at my hair I'm on day three of these curls they're holding up all right <laughs> I'll keep going so we are just so it's 10 30 we've had a nice lie-in what's that show called we've been Mystery watching in between we've been watching Mr. in between it's an Australian show it's on binge, binge which is like the Fox so it might be on Foxtel yeah, it would that be, type yeah. of thing it, it's actually a, a good show yeah, it's really <laughs> it's good very it's short hard to explain what it is just yeah. watch it it's 30 minute episodes very short easy to watch not even they're like 20 something mm. minutes we've been churning through them so we've had a bit of a lie-in watching TV this morning so we're gonna head out for Brecky now to Bing, do we think it's Bing? It's B Y N G is the name of a street. I think here. it's Bing. So we're calling it Bing. That could may not be correct. <laughs> Bing Street Grocery, Grocer, something, general store, something like that. It's a very popular place to go for brunch. They don't take booking, so we'll see how we'll we see go. how we go. We may we we're not waiting ages for a table either. We're not patient enough. And then we're heading to Millthorpe, which is a historic town a little bit out of orange that looks cute yeah it looks hopefully cute. things are open i think yes. the thing we've found the most is yeah. that people have closed up for christmas yeah. and like aren't coming back until next week this weekend is the 7th 8th of january mm. so things aren't coming back till next week or even some the Later week after that. yeah so just be aware of that if you're coming this time of year people seem to take holidays as they do in a lot of places in australia um and we're hoping to find some stone fruit in our travels. We haven't <laughs> been successful with that yet. So dinner was a smoking barbecue place that Erica found. It was called Elwood's Eatery. Seemed it, to have two names. Yeah, it seemed yeah. to have two names, Smoking, Smoking Brothers, Brothers yeah. but it seemed to be maybe like a collaboration or something. Yeah. I don't know. But um, it was surprisingly pretty good barbecue. So I ordered the kind of barbecue snack plate and it had brisket, pulled pork, wings, these really delicious little halloumi and chorizo bites, mm -hmm. um, coleslaw fries. Mm -hmm. um, and we just kind of shared that and we got a couple of sides, mac and cheese and buttered corn. Um, Definitely the mac and cheese was probably the letdown of the bunch. Um, but the meat All was the meat delicious. Was good. It was probably the sides that were yeah. not that crushed. And I mean, when you go to barbecue, yeah. it, it's all <laughs> the about the meat. The, the brisket was delicious. Yeah. The pulled pork was delicious. So um, I really enjoyed it. I haven't had good brisket for ages and I now want to make my own. The other thing I was just going to mention is that we were yesterday afternoon when we had a little kind of downtime in the afternoon before we went out for dinner um, and our baths. We were working on like a vision board each, which I don't know that we've really... We haven't really. We've done one before on a yeah. cork board, but this is like a digital yeah, one. Yeah, so on Canva, if anyone, like it's a free kind of um, graphic design software. Very, very easy to use. That's what we use for like our thumbnails. thumbnails and that type of thing. Um, there's like a vision board almost template and it's got just like all spots where you can put Pictures. Um, pictures and you can also use like their kind of graphic like they have photos and graphics and everything in there or you can find them on the web and kind of upload them in there and then it had like 2023 in the middle and then you could use it as your kind of laptop or computer background or like desktop background is that what it's called yeah or you can print it out and stick it up somewhere or put it wherever you like on your tv or something i guess but we had a lot of fun doing that well do you want to talk about some of the things that was on yours maybe we'll talk about them on the drive <laughs> dan's hungry dan <laughs> is hungry <laughs> houses here are gorgeous like they're just i don't even know how to explain it but they've all look like they've been done up the inside we've looked at um we've looked a little bit at domain and they're like done up on the inside can't afford them <laughs> um, but beautiful houses it is a beautiful day today as well it's been nice because it hasn't been too hot that it's like 
unpleasant to be outside. <laughs> it's just been absolutely glorious. Sunshine and blue skies. The um, breakfast place, highly recommend if you're in Orange. Bing Street, local grocer. Thought. It was cute. You're not going to spend all day here. We were probably here less than an hour. I think we pulled up at 12. <laughs> um, but, but if you had lunch or a coffee or something like that, because there were some cute cafes, cute shops, trinkets, clothes. Um, Erica bought a salad bowl <laughs> that you'll be seeing in future salad recipes, I'm sure. Um, no, but it's, it's a nice a nice place to visit historic village and I mentioned earlier in orange not everything was open and it was the same here yeah, unfortunately. most of the shops were open but there was a few that were still closed and there um, was a chocolate place which was why I came and it was closed <laughs> I wasn't given pre-warning about it being closed until we arrived and we're walking I'm saying where's the chocolate shop oh yeah sorry that's closed <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was convenient, wasn't it? But there was the tiniest, tiniest little train platform you ever did see. Just yeah. enough for like people, one person to get on and off the train. So seems like the train from Sydney to Dubbo stops there once a day each way, which was very cute. Give me all your love. Give me love. So I just went and bought some cherries. The young boy, he was pretty young, he was probably about 14. So many young people. I know. Quite as old now. Um, <laughs> he had a range of different ones and I tasted them and they were different prices or whatever. So it was, it was kind of cute. Um, and he was very, um, they're country kids I guess, they just got like a nice attitude or something. Um, so yeah, we've got our cherries. We did want to buy some peaches or nectarines or something, but I think mm, we'll have to see how home. we go. Because when we were yeah, going through Bilpin. Bilpin and that kind of area, yeah. they had some. Um, there was a blueberry farm we went past on the way in as well, when like through that Bilpin um, mountains kind of area as well. So, I'm just working on Dan's vision board because she's already wants I want to some alter update it. Yes. <laughs> This is what happened yesterday. Eric has been thinking about vision boards no, for God knows how long. I haven't. I literally saw it on camera and I was like, we should do that. And then she goes to me, what do you want in your vision board? Like I've got two seconds to work out what I've got to have in my vision board. So I do want some changes because yes. I thought a little bit more about what um, things that I wanted to get, kind of finish and get done this year, blah, blah, blah. So... Mm, what, what are you what, doing? What am I, I'm oh. looking for pictures for your vision board. So a couple of the, a few of the things, are, well the things that I'm adding, I want to finish Zelda, um, which hopefully will happen soon. I'm not that far away from finishing it. Um, and the other thing, what was the other thing I wanted to add? Your teeth. Oh yeah, I need to get dental work done on my teeth that I've been avoiding. And I know what needs to be done, the dentist has a plan. I've just got to actually do it. Yeah, that part's up. Um, some of the other things I put on there, my running is on there. There's a couple of work goals on there. Um, what else was on there? I've already forgotten. A very good vision I can board. Show you. Um, oh yeah, cooking a brisket. I haven't cooked a brisket on the smoker yet. It's quite a um, big money investment. If it doesn't work out, because at work we sell big pieces and I'm in a couple of um, smoking groups and people buy cheap small ones from um, like Coles and stuff and it's much harder to get right a small right. one than it is to get right a big one. Also the problem is there's just us The two, two of us, yes. And it's not like my And I also ever, don't so. want to cook it for other people for the first time. <laughs> And, and it <laughs> fails, so I don't know. Anyway, that's on there as well. What's on yours? What is on mine? Just let me finish yours. 
so I think I made that wider. Can make it narrow again. So I've gone through Dan's got we just with Dan's for the park run. Um, what's the app called that you use? Uh, 5K. 5K. So it tracks all your park runs and it has all the challenges in there. So it just populates like the alphabet ones mm -hmm. you've already done. Yeah. And I went through and put in all the, uh, like kind of doctored it up. So it looks like. It shows the ones that I want to get completed. done. completed. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, so I've got some exercise related ones. I've got some cooking ones because I want to. Got my little Asian cooking challenge, and we just this morning picked out the recipes I'm going to try this week. I've mentioned that in the last video. So Dan chose the cuisine as Indonesian, and we picked out two recipes that we're going to make this week. Um, when she says we, she means her. <laughs> by we, I mean me. <laughs> and I've got a couple of half butter wheel travel ones. I I should really be focusing more on Instagram so if you're not following us on Instagram go and do that that'll help with my vision board thank you very much um, but you're yeah. doing more content on Instagram than you've ever done before as well more I'm stories more reels, reels. I'm trying. Yeah. yes yes so yes so we've got them here Dan I'll have to fix yours up again but I've got it as my back you know desktop wallpaper and also my screensaver so oh, I've got to when do the I screen opened saver. my computer up before, oh, yeah, I've got to it do was that. there. So it was there. So that's cool. That's cool. And I'll do that on my computer at home because I usually work yeah. on like a desktop yep. computer. I don't think I can do it on my work computer. Well, that I don't might have a be lot a of parameters. Well. Yeah. <laughs> also, this is the key. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> for the place we're staying and you have, like that's the only option. You have to lug it around with you everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> so the video has just come out at Sunday here. So our Christmas, no, New Year's Eve. Our New Year's Eve video has come in out in Canberra. And in that video, Erica asked people for us for suggestions on what her word of 2023 can be. Mm. She had kind of. Um, said truth in that video and she wasn't really sold on it no. so we actually have gotten quite a lot of oh, really? suggestions and I don't I, know that Erica has really seen many I of them I only saw someone messaged on Instagram with one suggestion that was authentic there's a few authentics um, I like it but I'm you don't, don't want it to mean that you weren't authentic Yeah, before. I feel like it means before I haven't been authentic which is not the case so that's my only yeah like i like the concept of the word but i guess i'm just like well it's like i, I don't feel like i've been inauthentic before if that makes sense mm -hmm. so first up we've got aa who has said erica suggestion for your word of 2023 has to be free first Ooh, thing that like came that to one. mind when you described it i like that one free is good i yeah. like free as well um the next one is authentic, so okay. authentic does come up <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah, and I bit. have thought about that myself as well. Um, Tracy, who is a long-time watcher, mm -hmm. um, lives in Connecticut. Connecticut. <laughs> um, she said, Erica, what about autonomous or self-actualized as oh. your words? They're pretty deep, those yeah, they're, two. They're, they're, those words are a bit too fancy for me, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thank you, though, Tracy. They're very... You've thought about it. This is another real. No, we haven't had real yet. Real. Um, okay. Nurse Betty said, I reckon your word should be real. Just mm. be real to yourself. Yeah, I like that. I like real and I like free. I also like that they're short words as well, for some reason. Yeah, because they're like punchy. Yeah. Like just... Um, <laughs> Susie Knight said, I thought maybe confidence as your word. Mm. I like that, but that's not... Yeah. It's not actually reflective of you. you yes, don't have I don't feel like that's something that I embody. It was funny if someone had commented on a few videos like saying how like they always thought I was so confident and it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um Melissa Shelley said definitely truth, which is what Erica oh, had okay. said for herself. Mm -hmm. Um Mary Porter said possibilities, which oh, I kind oh, of like it's not, I like that not one. short or um 
Yeah, that's a good one though. Like it feels like it opens up everything. I like it. Um, Kiwi Gal said, how about the word peace, Erica? Oh. I feel this covers both inner and outer calmness for, for things you can or cannot control this year. That one's nice. Peace, I like that one. Maybe we're going to have to have more than one. <laughs> Authentic comes up again. Okay. <laughs> that was from Adriana. Mm -hmm. um, Robin has said confidence. So confidence yeah, and authentic have come funny? up a yeah, couple I of guess, times. I guess that's what it is. Like feeling confident enough to just do what you want to do and not care what. I, like that. That is what it, it. That is what it is. But that feels very misaligned with how I actually feel. Yeah. I guess. So maybe it is good because that's like pushing me towards that. Um, <laughs> the next one I had to look up because I didn't know oh what the word God. was. And I don't know how to say it. So I'm going to get okay. Erica to read it. But Angelina said... Impenitent. In, I don't know. Impenitent. So I'll look yeah. it up again because I looked it up on my computer because I was like, I don't know what that word is. Impenitent. I don't know what that... I've not heard that word before. I think that's what it is. Does it tell not me? feeling shame or regret about one's actions or attitudes. I mean, that's kind of bang on. But the thing is, if you don't really know what that word is, it may not resonate mm. the same with you. But yeah. that is like that's a very, quite a that's very a, good word. That's a, the fanciest word. But it's kind In, of... Impenitent. That's how you say it, right? Not feeling shame or regret about one's actions. <laughs> Yeah. And that is an awesome yeah. word. I'm I'm impressed. Because shame's a big one for me, so that is good. Um, there was also a couple of people that commented about my park run. It wasn't all about it. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm filtering those out. Um, Kerry said growth. Ooh, that sounds hard though. Sounds oh my like, god. That sounds like work, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Authenticity has come up again. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to decide on one now. Yeah. I didn't think this through, did I? Okay, I've got to read this one. So, authentic or genuine have come up yeah. again. Um, Do you freedom, get what I mean about that word? Though? Freedom. So, yeah. free, freedom. Oh. That has come up again. Um, People are also, like Americans, weren't aware that Canberra was the capital. <laughs> so I'm glad I mentioned that. <laughs> and then there was a few people talking about Park Run. So what ones do you like out of that? I like free and I liked possibilities. I liked possibilities. And what, there was another one word one. One the short, syllable. Yeah. What was it? We should have like written them down or something or had them on an actual proper list. Um, real. So free yeah. or real. Yes. Or possibilities. They're, they're probably the top That's three. That's probably the top three. I do like some of the others as well, but it's so hard. Thank you, everyone, for submitting such good answers. I'm um, going to have to think about it. Am I supposed to decide right now? No, you don't have to decide <laughs> right now. It's a big commitment. I'm a Libran, you know, so... We gave her too many choices. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> We are now just going to get ready and go out for dinner. We're going to an Italian place. My called, choice tonight it was Dan's last yeah, night. <laughs> called Pellegrini's, which is literally just around the corner. So we'll just walk down, um, yeah. have dinner, and then it's going to be get ready to go home tomorrow. Morning, everybody. Yes, good morning. It's we, Monday morning. We have made it to Bilpin, so we're not even halfway through the trip yet I don't think no we've we're... done about an hour and a half maybe two hours yes and I wanted to get some peaches on the way home because I'm working on a roasted peaches recipe and we're in the fruit bowl of Australia apparently <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't come across any yet we just stopped at the Bilpin fruit bowl, fruit bowl shop but they didn't look that great they look like <laughs> they just been picked off the tree which is fine but they also need to look Nice for pleasing. the photos. Yeah. <laughs> so we're probably going to stop at Costco at Marsden Park because Dad petrol. needs to get petrol. And I might just check out their peaches there, which seems a bit sacrilege, but they have really nice peaches. <laughs> We've had them before. Um, yes, so sorry, I went off on a peach tangent. <laughs> That's fine. 
<laughs> but we're just on our drive home. We really enjoyed Orange. It's a place where we could kind of see ourselves coming back 100%. or even living. Or it, was, it was beautiful. I had zero expectations when Zan Dan's like, I need the O for Orange. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Some country town in regional New South Wales. But it was so lovely. Like, honestly, it had such a nice vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, it really did. And so many like foodie, you know, it's also the fruit part of the fruit bowl. It's a very big fruit bowl <laughs> in Australia. It's overflowing. <laughs> Heaps of wineries and like farm gate type things, which is we that really like. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we are going to finish off this video here. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We've loved everyone. We've had so many comments on the Lots. last couple of videos and it makes it so much more enjoyable for us to be able to interact with you. So yeah. So even if you feel like I'm not a person who comments, please comment because it, <laughs> it means we know. It makes a huge know, difference to yes, us. It exactly. really does. And we really appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. So thank you so much and we'll see you next week.